God provides. So why do I worry about my life when you come to my rescue a thousand times? Every other voice it is a lie. God provides. God provides in ways I can't explain and can't deny. The little that I have, He multiplies. Just when I feel He won't show up on time, God provides. He'll come through when. Now you finally see what God can do for you. So tonight, close your eyes, there's no more need to fight. Watch God provide. God provides. It's hard to see when there's no food to eat or when you see feels all that life will be and will this be another year of misery for me but my faith can survive on just the things I see and my feelings can control my destiny. See, God, I only want what you believe for me. So tonight, close your eyes, there's no more need to fight. Watch God provide.
from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. It's another day's journey, and Lord, we are glad about it. For it's in you that we live and move and have our being. We're thankful for the opportunity and the privilege you've allowed us to assemble in this way through technology, internet. We thank you, God, for all of our friends from Fort Nine who have tuned in by means of Facebook and YouTube. And we pray, oh God, that this be a time of reflection and remembrance of what you have called us to do and to be about. We welcome you to the Leona United Methodist Church third Sunday worship service. Thank you again for sharing with us on this day. Don't forget to check on the signature shut in. Make sure you're aware of how they are doing. Don't forget to check out our webpage, www.paulincharge.com. It's a work in process. It's www.paulincharge.com. Also, we want to make sure each member, make sure you get in contact with your class leaders, for they are the ones who are doing the frontline work of receiving our offerings at this particular time, as they normally do, particularly during this time because we're not gathered together in the assembly. And so we thank each of you for your grace and your gifts you have been given throughout this pandemic, and we thank God for you in remembering the ministry of the church continues on, even in a time like this. And your conference is still being worked on. They're looking at the latter part of this month. Uh, primarily, it may be back soon, but I will be. Uh, we will keep you abrupt on how things are going. So continue to lift up the bishop and the cabinet and your prayers at such a time as this. Also, I do have a PayPal account established. We'll be letting you know about that real soon. On Wednesday, our Bible studies at 6 o'clock. You'll find it in, in on the page here. Uh, how to get to the Bible class on Wednesday at 6. Also, hopefully this Wednesday, yeah, we're looking to add an additional way of in joining us to your regular telephone. Your landline or your regular telephone. We're working on that. Hopefully have that ready by Wednesday where those of you who don't have the ability to get in by iPhone and those ways or by your computer we're trying to make it accessible just by your regular phone, even your land phone to share with us in our time of Bible study. Today we want to continue from our series from last week from 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 it says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Let us pray, Father, again we look to thee, the author and finisher of our faith and the navigator of our soul. As we come, we ask you to guide us to direct us in this process, for we acknowledge our total dependency upon you. We can do nothing without you. So, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Lord, we need to hear from you. At a time like this, we need to hear specifically and directly from God. We need to hear from you in America. We need to hear from you from Leona, Mississippi. We need to hear from you. Yes, sir. America is in a bad condition right now with this epidemic. So many different opinions and way to navigate through this. Our generation have never seen nothing like this before. Economically, we're in a crisis. Our government is looking for answers. God, we know that you are the answer. Our culture, this nation is becoming more and more secular in our way of doing things. Even our country 
is gaining a more and more bad, bad reputation all around the world. Our nation needs a healing. Our families need a healing. Materialism, secularism, racism, extremism has gone chaotic. Our nation has been wounded by crime, corruption, and scandals, and we need to hear from you, Lord. Our economy is gone to the dogs. Cities are not safe to live anymore. Families are falling apart. But in the midst of it all, there is hope in God. And one writer put it this way, hope is a biblical concept that said even though everything looks bad at this moment, even though things seem like they're going to the toilet, even though times look so difficult and dark and gloomy, seem like a recession is, is before us for this year and year to come, but I still believe in God. And I believe God is still a good God. And I believe he has a plan and a purpose in this difficult time. Our text, very familiar, almost 3,000 years ago, somewhere around 90, 980 B.C., God made a promise to a king by the name of Solomon. And that promise, I believe, is still good to this day, if my people who are called by my name. And we want to see a turnaround in our country, in our culture, in our relationships, and in our home. And one thing is needed, and that is healing, if my people who are called by my name. Do you notice he said he's talking to a particular group of people, not everybody. He said, but if mine people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. God said I will do three things. I will hear from heaven, forgive your sins, and heal your land. But before those things are carried out, there are some premises that need to be taken care of. And we began to talk about one on last week. That first premise was we must confess our sins with humility. The Bible says in James 4, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. The Bible says in Proverbs 28 and verse 13, it says, if you hide your sins, you will not succeed, but you confess and reject them you will receive mercy. Cover causes more problem in the situation than it is itself. Secondly, today, I just want to share briefly with you the second premise to this conditional promise. As we mentioned on last week, the Bible has conditional promises and then there's unconditional promise. And this is a promise of condition. And it says we must Pray with power or pray with tenacity. One writer explains what tenacity is. It is praying with tenacity means with persistence, with perseverance, with diligence, determination. It means keeping on, keeping on, praying and praying and praying some more. Praying and praying, and then praying some more. It means to pray, 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 pray. But our problem is we give up too soon and we give up too quick. We have these shallow prayers, or I would say drive-by prayers. Thank you, Lord, and I'll holler at you later. Why does he want us to pray over and over and over and over again? One writer puts it this way, it's because 
when you pray persistently, it really will determine whether you're serious or not, whether you're genuine in your prayer or not. Mark 13 and 37 says, what does the Bible say? It says, Jesus said, I told you before, and I say unto everyone, watch. You know, the word watch, the Greek word is Gregorello, but we get the name Gregory, where it means to watch. And so he says, not only are we to pray, but we're to watch and pray. And what are we to watch for? We need to watch out for the enemy. Satan tries to get you discouraged. Also, in a time like this, while we are focusing on Black Lives Matter, we need to let nothing distract us from that agenda. We don't need to get caught up in the latest fads and the latest issues going on with people. We need to keep the focus right where it's at, and that is on the importance of Black Lives Matter, that change will take a place. So in our praying, we need to watch and make sure we don't allow the enemy to get us off track. For the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but those that endure to the end. So let me ask each of you a question today. It's, are you about getting results in your prayer? How serious are you about God bringing us through this situation. And I want to encourage you to find your place in your home, a secret place where you can go daily and spend quality time with God and begin to cry out unto the Lord because we need prayer. Colossians 4 and 2 says very plainly, be earnest and unwavering and steadfast in your prayers. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of the Lord and the time of prayer. Make sure you sit out that time to have time with the Lord. The Bible says, Ask and it shall be given, seek and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be open. Anything you ask in my name, which means in God's character, he said it shall be done. Let us unite our prayers together. Let us make sure we have that secret place where we go and call upon God. Because if God's people will call by His name and just humble themselves and pray, we'll begin to hear from heaven. He will heal our land and forgive our sins. Let us be challenged today from this word as children of God to remain focused and don't allow anything to distort us from the necessity and the need that we need to pray because we believe God hears and he answers prayer. Have that daily place where you go each and every day and spend that time in prayer. Let us pray. Father, we thank you again for this moment, this opportunity you allowed us to assemble here this way because we know we're living in tough times. The going get rough, the tough get going. Strengthen us where we're weak and build us up where we're down. Help us to spend this time to get closer to family and friends and love them. Help us to spend this time to draw closer to you and, and to your will for our life. We just pray, God, that in this time, you'll cover us, protect us, and keep us. Look upon those families who are experiencing this COVID-19. Don't forget the bereaved families and the sick and shunning. Comfort them like only you can, Father. And give us strength to hold on to your unchanging hands. As our prayer we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In times like this, we need to continue to call upon the name of Jesus. God is still able. And we just trust Him. Lean on you. Whatever you want. Say the word. And I'll obey. That's what you need to tell the Lord. Whatever you want. Whatever you want me to go.
Amen.